Hey guys, welcome to the Player 4 Podcast. I'm Haley, a.k.a. Hales, on the Rooster Teeth website. I am Tristan, a.k.a. Shagrazier. Hey, I'm Alex, a.k.a. Chaos Black 21. And I'm Joseph, a.k.a. J. Dunlap. And Haley, I want to commend you for not laughing this time. <laughs> on my name? <laughs> yeah. It's because we're all too tired to laugh. You also said it right. Yeah, I also no. didn't hear it. <laughs> I get a gold star for the night. Um, I still, still want to call it the midnight snack. Ooh. <laughs> Welcome to the player for midnight snack. To understand the context, the audience needs to understand that we're recording this almost at midnight. Yes. <laughs> Haley's um, time. Yes. Haley and Tristan time. Haley yes. Um, we're recording this around almost midnight because Joseph has a really cool and exciting thing that he's doing. Joseph, would you like to tell us what you're going to be doing? They're going to be disappointed. It's not so exciting. We we overhyped it. (laughs) Yeah, he way overhyped it. I'm just (laughs) playing the freaking piano. I'm going on tour with the choir at the college that I work at because the honors choir that I play for is also going to do a few selections. And the honors choir is part of the main choir, but it's audition only. And I asked the director last week, so, like, the honors choir is singing on tour, right? And he said, yeah. And I said, so that means I'm going, right? And he, and he looked at me for a second and th- said, I guess that means you are going. So I'll be gone for four days, and that means I'll be gone tomorrow, which is when we usually record, which is Thursday nights. So this is Wednesday night, and we're recording, and I'm actually skipping raid night so that we can do this. In See? his mind, he was saying, crap, I didn't budget for another person. I'm. I. I, I kind of think he's gonna have. I, he's been scrambling to find me somewhere to stay because it's all host homes. Oh, hmm. but I think that's. I, I don't like that you say that. That wasn't exciting. I think it's super exciting. I think super that's exciting. It's very we're, super exciting. And we're glad that you decided to stay with us for tonight instead of going to raid night. Well, I understand that if I don't record with you guys, <laughs> then no one's going to be recording. <laughs> I'm the one who hits the button. You got you got the touch, man. You got the power. Joseph our is our record man. He has all the power over us. <laughs> so since I'm hitting record on this and then uploading to Google Drive to the Google tonight, Drives. and then I'm leaving in the morning, Tristan is doing the audio tomorrow. Do and the then Haley's doing the video. So if it's terrible, it's their fault this time. It's true. <laughs> I blame Haley preemptively. I preemptively blame Haley. I'm going to (laughs) apologize now in case it sucks, but maybe I'll just put my. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm just going to put my face on the whole thing and just cut you guys out. (laughs) (laughs) Can't do it. There's no words on it. Welcome to the Haley Four podcast. It's just four pictures of Haley. Hey, I take some dang good selfies. No, I don't know. I think Tristan's going to cut all of us out of the audio. Just him. <laughs> just blank it out so it's the just this disjointed cast. conversation of <laughs> me talking to myself about nothing. Haley, make a logo that says Tristan Cast and put it up when I say Tristan Cast. <laughs> <laughs> I'll work on that. It's got to have like the rainbow with the shooting star behind it from the more you know. Oh, uh, yeah. It's- with like I'll Tristan's ha- face at the end of the rainbow. Oh, <laughs> on the star, yeah, yeah. If somebody can make that, that's good. Then, then you can send it to me because I'm not that artistic. <laughs> well, let's see. Alex is doing the link dump. Tristan's doing the audio. You're doing the video, and I am on the road tomorrow. So it might not happen. <laughs> that might. Just oh well. Be a, that might. Just I could do. A, I could do a very shitty paint job and g- give it to you. That hey, works. I did. A, I did a very. <clears throat> crappy paint job, and that became our logo. You could that could always be like a a, a t shirt we make one day. <laughs> was the Tristan cast? <laughs> I <laughs> love it. All these t shirts, print it, <laughs> copyrighted. So I'm already selling them, guys. I've already sold two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you have. <laughs> so Haley, I think we derailed from you doing a thing. Oh yes. Um, usually we do um, our and another thing, and but another thing. But this week we don't have any um, and any and another thing. And, 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 but do we have, we have any things? and another things? Because we had a guest last week, which 
if if you have still have any questions for Sailor Tweak about Rooster Teeth, um, I mean RTX or um, uh, being a guardian, please send all questions to twitter.com slash sailor tweak and tweak is spelled t-w-e-e-k or you can find her profile on roosterteeth.com slash sailor tweak also e-e-k she will be answering questions specifically about rtx guardianship and hopefully people won't be directing too many questions about the event to her because really it's the cast and crew that answers those yeah I wanted to ask her a question, and we didn't get a chance to ask her. What does Sailor Tweak mean? Why Sailor Tweak? I, I want like to ask her next time, then. Yeah, because I always like to know the stories behind people's like usernames. I was just going to say, um, she made it very clear last week that you are not bothering her if you send her a message on Rooster Teeth or tweet her, because... Um, she's unemployed. She quit the job that she had as office jockey when I interviewed her for J. Dunlap Media, five-question interviews. So currently, she's at home, and all she's doing is RTX stuff, um, Guardian stuff, that is. Another thing she tries to make clear on Rooster Teeth is that she does not work for Rooster Teeth. So don't ask her anything about that, because all she knows is Guardian stuff. It's true. Yes, so... But Be she'll careful. probably still love you even if you forget and ask her about RTX. Exactly. She's best friend status with me. BFF. Oh my gosh. Biff status. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's funny. I was having a conversation earlier today with uh, Gina, my wife. I said, so if Buford Tannen is arrested because of Doc and Marty, is Biff ever born? Huh? <laughs> It's a Back to the Future reference. Yeah, oh. back, to, back to the Future 3. Because Buford Tannen is picking on Marty and Doc. And then Marty has the, the stove door on his chest. And then he gets shot and it doesn't kill him. And then he, because uh, it's something he'd watched on TV, I think, on, earlier in the movie. Yes. And then he hits him over the face with the, the, the stove door. And then Buford turns around and falls face first into a barrel of manure. Ooh. It's true. It did happen. I yeah. don't. I, it's been too long since I've watched those movies, so I don't remember too much. Fortunately for you, we just gave you a recap. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> well, you have to remember that back in the old west, there wasn't really any penalty for attempting to kill somebody you didn't like, or succeeding at killing somebody you didn't like. That was that was all the justification you needed. Oh, you didn't like him? Okay. Bang bang. Yeah, they were too concerned with cattle rustlers. It's true. They have more important things, more important things like tumbleweeds to worry about. And also, um, whether your piccani sauce is from New York City. I would have tipped cows. Just How much? <laughs> Does, doesn't tip... Not, uh, oh, my God. I was like, oh. 20%. Oh, Give them a 20% lean. Uh. Okay. Wait, wait. Isn't it, true? Isn't it true that if you tip a cow, they die? No, I don't think so. They're just too dumb to... To actually stay standing up, they just sort of fall over and lay there for a while. I heard you can, like, give them a heart attack and they die. I hadn't heard that, but it might be true. Let me know if it works. (laughs) Yeah, Haley, go test it out for us. (laughs) That would be so sad. Like, what if you, like, what if you kill a cow? I killed a cow in Minecraft. (laughs) Was it Edgar? Edgar. No, actually, Edgar's on my server and he is in a hole and he is not dead. I feel like every Minecraft person who watches our, uh, Rooster Teeth or like Achievement Hunter, they all have an Edgar and they have him in a hole. I don't well, that's where he belongs, right? I mean, he does belong in a hole. I feel bad for Edgar. Not Edgar <laughs> feel... unless he's in the hole. You realize Edgar's in the hole because he wouldn't get out of Ryan's house. I know. <laughs> and when Michael tried to free him, he kept trying to go back in the house. He did. <clears throat> No, no, Stockholm you don't syndrome? get it. Edgar is the one in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. I forgot that line. Edgar is the one in the hole. So he's like, you went and found him? He's like, no. He's like, I just got a cow. <laughs> Any cow. doesn't matter. Once it's in the hole, it's Edgar. It's Edgar. <laughs> that sounds like a segue to what Alex was going to talk about. Uh, yes. The big news at Rooster Teeth and Achievement Hunter is that Brown Man a.k.a. Ray, is leaving AH to pursue a streaming career. How do you get, how do you get paid to stream? 
How does that have happen? Sponsorship and selling ad space on your streaming channel. Oh, yeah, if okay. you get a bunch of subs, which is what he's planning, what he, what he's trying to do now, you have a ton of people watching, and they all watch and they watch those ads. Then you get a portion of the ad profits. Yeah, it's sort of similar to the process of monetizing your YouTube videos, where now they put ads on your YouTube videos, but mm-hmm. for every every watch, you get you know some fraction of a penny. It's actually more than that. The the more recent trend is sponsorship directly into the video rather than being tacked on by YouTube, like Audible dot com and NatureBox and a few so other now websites. instead of getting paid by YouTube or in this yeah. case. Yeah. You just make it known that you're being sponsored by that website, and then you tell them, "Oh, I've got a code that you can type in," and then that code shows that sponsor that your viewers are in fact getting the message. Nice. Uh, oh, hmm. Interesting. That's cool. But I mean, it's. I mean, I'm happy that Ray is going. Like he's. I mean. It seems like he's finding what he wants to do in life, and that's good. I'm happy for him. I have this image of like live streamers like Ray that are getting sponsored, having the computer tower decked out like a NASCAR. <laughs> the stickers all over. Yeah, it. wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> Coca-Cola decal. Put it up on the table next Big to the Red webcam Red where they can see all the decals. Hey, have you ever seen the movie Mystery Men? No. There was so Mystery Men. It's a it's an old it's a '90s film starring Ben Stiller, um, where these team of just regular guys want to be superheroes. They're always second bananas to like the primary superhero of the city. Wait, though I think I did see that movie. It's been years though, but I do yeah. think I saw that. The primary superhero wears like this leather racing outfit that is just completely covered in in sponsor de- logos <laughs> like patches and decals all over his outfit and this is what he you know flies in to save the day wearing is all these sponsorships so that funny. makes you think of something captain hammer would do captain hammer corporate tool yeah <laughs> i mean that would make sense because he's a corporate tool mm-hmm. there I, was a uh, jerry lewis go ahead sorry no i totally forgot what i was gonna say never oh. mind Success. The there was a Jerry Pinder. Lewis movie where there was a lady that uh, an old lady would sit at her TV back in the old days where the, like the broadcasters would say who their sponsors were rather than having commercials, and they would do the commercial for them like a radio show, and she would buy everything made by the sponsors of her favorite programming. So she'd be sitting there like taking medication and smoking and eating a certain food and that kind of thing. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Product placement. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> it's interesting to me how much product placement has been in soap operas lately. Oh, yeah? Well, it's because nobody watches that crap anymore, so they got to try and get money somewhere. <laughs> well, actually, that's a counterproductive argument. They wouldn't get sponsorship if they weren't getting people watching it. Mm. Well, when I, one of the things I always thought was interesting is looking back through the years how a lot of shows tried to avoid product placement, so they would create products. Like f- they would have, um, you know, the the packaging would look similar to a real product, so you'd immediately recognize what you were looking at. But if you actually read the name on it, it was never the same as a mm-hmm. real product. So it, in then those you'd cases, have to pay for it. It, it, then you'd have to pay for it. So. Um, one of the ones that I thought was funny, uh, I uh, watched all my life. I watched X Files. The the cigarettes that the that the smoking man character carries with him are called Morley's, and the packaging looks like Marlboro cigarettes. And then I started watching, you know, more recent shows um, like Burn Notice, and Morley's appears again. So I actually went online and looked at it. Morley is a falsetto product for. Uh, cigarettes that has been used across like 30 different TV shows over the past 40 years. That'd I just be interesting that was... to see like more of that kind of stuff. Like, you oh, know? yeah, I think there's a, uh, I can't remember where I've heard it recently. It might've been another podcast, but uh, there is a prop, like a prop store. Like I think in like LA next to like Hollywood 
where you can get stuff that has been used like on shows and movies and i think one of uh one of the things is like a bag of potato chips like these potato chips are specifically made for shows (laughs) yeah um i actually saw a super cut super cut like the hair hairdressing place no i mean um on youtube a super cut like screen junkies that does honest trailers does a lot of super cuts and I recently saw a supercut within the past few months that was just fake commercials from movies and TV. Okay, so what's a supercut? Is this just where uh, like a single video where they cut together a lot of the same type of yes. content? Okay, like there's a supercut of Jason Statham saying the word job. Okay, <laughs> so it's like every different role he's played using the word job. Yeah, it's like <laughs> I guess I'm a man for the job. It's not part of the job. And that kind I of think thing. I, I think I've okay. seen supercuts of. Like all of the kills that Arnold Schwarzenegger has. Yes, in that's movies. called body count. Yeah, <laughs> and actually, Arnold Notch does that. <laughs> it's not whether you win or lose; it's the body count. See, Arnold Notch does body count in addition to the awesome Star Wars videos that they do. Please, please link Arnold Notch, Alex. But Screen Junkies does honest, honest trailers. And they have Nick Mundy, who also appears on Conan O'Brien from time to time. And then they have the Screen Junkies show with Hal Rudnick. And then they have Supercuts and Honest Damage. And no, what is it? There's Honest Damage, and there's another one where all they do is count how many times the protagonist should have died in the movie. <laughs> like they, they've done some of the Die Hard movies, and he dies like all the time. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the first time I saw Iron Man and my my friend and I, you know, we loved the movie, but we got home and we started actually calculating out the physics in that first fall out of the sky when he rocketed away in his prototype and then crashed in the sand dune. We're like, yeah, he'd have died right then. It was yeah, like it was like movies, 23 G's. <laughs> movies think that redirecting your inertia somehow stops you, resets your inertia. <laughs> redirection is the way to protect yourself but he didn't redirect he he just went pfft, straight into the sand and we're like huh we calculated it out and we're like yeah that 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 amount of g-force would uh <laughs> would break everything inside of you forever <laughs> the fact that you guys mentioned like super cuts i was actually watching something which it always like i like to see this kind of stuff like easter eggs in video games i was watching a huge one about bioshock infinite should I not mention anything Bioshock Infinite? I don't know. If it's you... past the point it's, of spoiler. It's been a while. I just haven't done it myself yet. But if you only okay, talk well, about the if you only talk about the Easter egg, I'm okay. I I won't talk about the spoilers. Um, but like the different music. I mean, I knew about the music that they incorporate. Um, but there's like little small things that you never would have picked up, and they there's like so many references to like the first game, or like it show. I like that kind of stuff because it shows the ingenuity of like the people creating it and they, and they really do reference their own work and they, or they really put thought into like the names they give the characters. Like they don't just like, Oh, that sounds like a cool name. Like Booker to wit. They think they, they're not sure, but they think that they, he was named for Bryce DeWitt, who was like a quantum, like a uh, mechanic theorist person. Mm-hmm. That is, you know, which, you know, Bioshock Infinite is very based on. So I just, I don't know. I like watching that kind of stuff and seeing how things tie in. Booker DeWitt, quantum physicist. Like um, Uncharted, and uh, I mean, Last of Us has a lot of um, Easter eggs. So does Uncharted. If you watch the fir- like if you've ever played the first Uncharted, it's like right when the game starts, Nathan Drake and Elena Fisher are wearing wetsuits and they say Otzel on them. Which is a which is a reference to not um Naughty Dog's games Jack and Daxter, which Daxter is an otzel. Like an ocelot. Yeah. He's a little orange o- I love the Jack and Daxter series, like hands down. Yes, but it's your favorite, right? It's one of my favorites. I have a lot of favorites. <laughs> I feel like we're having pillow talk, guys. It is pillow talk. Pillow talk. Welcome to the Player 4 podcast. This is Pillow Talk. Player 4 Pillow Talk. I don't know. I think Tristan Cast was a way less creepy, creepier. <laughs> <laughs> you... Wow, thanks for making me sound like a creep. <laughs> no, all of us were like, hey, hey, audience. Hey. Uh, yeah. <laughs> get, getting intimate up in here. 
Yeah, I know. You maybe do it, two audience. Or three, three people in our audience were enjoying that, but everyone else was like, "Okay," and click. <laughs> and let pause. me, let me whisper some video games in your ear. I'm sorry. I think I we just earned us a couple caboose. unsubscribes. <laughs> I cannot do sexy caboose. It's not possible. <laughs> Joel Heyman is adorable. Like no joke, hands down, base status, base status. Okay, so Alex, you be caboose. Ready? <laughs> what? I can't do. I can't do sexy caboose. I'm no, 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 command. No, no. Just be caboose, and I'm gonna be a guy calling, uh, and caboose is on the phone, and so I'm like, well, hey, what you wear, baby? Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm just wearing some armor. Oh yeah, yeah. You gonna take off that armor? Can you be my best friend? Wait. This isn't the phone sex line, is it? What's phone sex? I, I, when, you, when you asked him to take off his armor, I thought he was going to say, well, not until, you know, nap time, because nap time comes before pants time. <laughs> nap time. Uh, pants time comes before nap time. <laughs> I'm sure you can cut it together to something coherent. <laughs> I'll, I'll just have Haley put up a bunch of kittens wearing, like, caboose masks. I thought oh, it was I... kittens with spikes on them. Dang it! I ripped my <laughs> pants again! Yeah, it was kitten with spikes. <laughs> Is that a sign that we need to stop? <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I pulled a string and some things just happened. You're just fiddling with things because you have to sit there in front of the microphone, so you end up destroying things by accident. I have. So you're like my toddler. Issues. <laughs> I have issues. So I ripped I, my pants. It's episode eleven. You've gone through two pairs of pants. Let's say you don't go through another one until twenty. So every ten episodes, you go through one pair of pants. This is going to be a really expensive podcast for you. But we're making a lot of t-shirts, so maybe she could turn one into a pair of pants. Well, I don't, <laughs> we can fund. We can fund her pair. Her pants. Her well, hold pants on a habit. We might be able to get a sponsorship at some point from a pants company because of this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hazel pants. Guys, I just ripped my pants, but good thing we're sponsored by Hazel Jeans. Sure. <laughs> the hey, only guys. denim you can trust anymore. I'm really upset. So any pants companies that are listening to this right here. Because <laughs> that's gonna happen. Just make a pair that Haley can't destroy or I'm can so- destroy, so that she has to buy more from you. I'm so upset. I like these. <laughs> I like that we really don't know which approach to take, so we're taking every single one. Make pants that can't be destroyed or not. I mean, that's cool too. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, it's like the standard of today to make things, you know, uh, if- deliberately obsolete. You know. But well, I see that. Like, I guess I the thing is. Them- I didn't rip them like I like ripped them. Like I pulled a string and then it just like all unraveled. My pants. It's a question of whether we get money from them for buying for making Haley buy pants from them continually, or whether it's that we keep plugging how Haley would have ripped her pants this time, except that their pants are so good quality that she couldn't. I mean, I I think they could sell pants either way. That's what I mean. I mean, it doesn't really it really matter what approach we take, right? And I'm then any nice. pants that Haley destroys, they just take out, take out of the sponsorship. And then we've already done their first, you know, advertisement for them. Right now, they just have to clip this part out of the yeah. podcast. Yeah, if done. they if they like contact us tomorrow, or well, the day the day that this comes out, whenever that is, two days from now, and then they tell us, you know, we want to sponsor you, then we just cut in the episode. We re-release this episode and cut in Tristan or someone saying the name of the company. <laughs> Can someone just repair my pants? <laughs> like, that almost makes me so much that, trouble. That almost makes me wish that we had video podcasts so that at the moment that we cut in, we just cut in video clipping CGI. over someone's face of, of the <laughs> mouth saying the name of the company. <laughs> it's like freeze frame with a moving mouth. So Tristan's a- goatee, like framing a mouth. All, All right, right, you want to take this away, Haley? I'm going to take it away. All right, thanks, guys, for joining us on this random night of friendship and camaraderie. And it sounds like you're take it away, take it to bed, and spoon it for the rest of the evening. Okay, we could uh, say that. <laughs> why, do you, why do you have to make it weird? <laughs> I you have to make it weird. Donut? I like, a, I like a donut. A donut's are good. 
<laughs> Good night, everyone. I like a, I like a, the playoff one podcast. Is Sweet nice. dreams. It's very nice. Good night, everyone. Good night. Sweet dreams. Guys, this will be the Whispering Podcast. Playoff well, or Pillow Talk. Welcome to the Player 4 Podcast. Actually, I don't want to do it that way.